Okay, so here's the deal. In my last video, I said that I fixed the car, kind of. And um, the only reason that it was a few weeks ago is because, unfortunately, it only stayed like that for a couple of days, and then it messed up again. Uh, the belt shredded, the tensioner pulleys off center, so it's kind of like digging a groove into the belt and shredding it. But anyway, that's not important. Um, we've rigged it up a little bit. Yes, it's rigged. We put a wooden block in between the tensioner pulley and the frame to hold it in place. That way, the belt is centered. And now it's running. Kinda. Um, and it's still burning oil really bad. But anyway, it's not important. What's important is I'm going to push it until I can't push it anymore. So I can still get some videos for you guys. And, uh, you know, unfortunately right now, I know this is a very obvious and cliche thing to say. But I have a lot going on right now. Um, you know, I just lost my papa. Um, the car is breaking down. And uh, I also lost my job. So I'm also out job hunting. So I'm trying to figure a lot of things out right now. But... In between those things, I'm going to still try to get you guys videos. But if, if I'm MIA for a little while, you know, I'm I'm just doing life. And uh, everybody has to do it. So you get it, I'm sure. But today we're actually, um, I'm thinking about going to a uh, state park, which is probably like 35 minutes up the road. It is a little bit risky in this car because of the oil burning, because it's over a mountain. But I think I'm going to go there, and then after that, I might go to the river or something, try to catch some smallmouth. I'm not sure. I've been fishing for the past two or three days. Nothing. I've probably gotten two bites in two days, and uh no, it sucks. And my voice also sounds like this because I've got a lot of uh, phlegm going on. But um anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and uh, make it up there, and hopefully we'll be able to get into some fish today. Uh, I'm not sure, but listen to this. Listen to this gorgeous, gorgeous sound. It's not too bad right now. Usually it's that wooden block's like hammering up against the frame. Anyway, I'll see you guys when we get there. get rained on a bit but if it doesn't rain too too bad this could be really really good for us we've been in a drought pretty much all my lakes and ponds that i fish including the river are way 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 lower than they usually are um but if it doesn't rain too bad this could mean top water top water not sure what I need or if I even need anything but I can't go to Walmart or buy Walmart without going to the fishing section I have an addiction
All right. So, so far, I'm not really sure what to think. I've talked to a few people that I've seen. I've seen a couple of small bass, but usually they only come here to like bring their kids to bluegill fish and whatever. So they don't really bass fish here as much. They go to other places that they know are better, but I talked to the woman inside and she showed me a picture of a seven pound bass that somebody caught out of here. So, I mean, the only way I'm gonna find out is if I fish. It looks good here, it's really pretty. We will see. Okay. So, picked up a few things from Walmart. Um, right now it's, it's a weird time for the fish. It's uh, that fall transition. Sometimes it can be harder to find fish than you know, in the fall or in the summer, it's that little tiny period where you don't really know what the fish are doing. So, one of my number one fall transition to early fall baits, it's just a normal rattle trap, lipless crankbait. I tend to stick to chrome. Um, I watched a video actually yesterday from uh, Tactical Bassin where Matt Allen was talking about chrome and black and chrome and blue. During the springtime, you can use like colors like red and orange and black and all of that. But during the fall, you want to stick to chrome. It's a good fish finder, and it's tried and true. Next, it's a chatterbait. Most of these are going to be moving baits. Um, right now, a lot of the bass are going after shad, which is another reason that you want to stick to uh, chrome. Um, they're going after shad, and if you don't have shad in the lakes that you're fishing, which I usually don't, that's why I got this bluegill pattern. It's, um, you can't go wrong with a chatterbait. Everybody knows that. Um, I also got some, you know, other hooks and weights because I was needing them because I'm kind of out. Um, another thing that you can use is, uh, like I said, stick to moving baits, so spinner baits, and a square bill works really good. Uh, I, I like to stick to the the um, bluegill patterns for right now, but I will use a shad pattern if the lake that I'm fishing has shad in it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Stick with your um, your moving baits, uh, and if, if you get hit a lot on a moving bait but they don't commit, that's when you can throw in a Cinco or a Finesse Worm or something like that. And I also still use a frog a lot during this time because they're still out. But I'm going to tie something on. Oh. One more thing. Because lipless crankbaits are um, something that I like to use right now. I've had requests from you guys to make a lipless crankbait uh, video. And I just haven't because I normally don't fish lipless crankbaits in that time period. But since I do now, I'm really thinking about giving this a try. It is a... Um, it's the rip knocker. If you've seen my MTB unboxing videos, then you've already seen it. But this thing just looks insane. The paint, the paint job on this thing is ridiculous. I don't know if that's gonna do it justice, but it just looks awesome. And uh, you know, it's still in the top of shad, so might work pretty good. Clearly. You can't walk by a drain like this where there's water flowing in or out and not cast around it. You can't do it. Here comes the rain. okay
this one. And that. Chill out, dude. That's why you cast next two drains. You know, it's not a big fish at all. Really little dinky guy, but it's fish. Get over here so I can release him without throwing him really far. Ugh. Now, we're gonna make it back under this tree because I'm getting soaked. I knew it was supposed to rain a bit, but I didn't know it was supposed to do this. Yeah, it's really coming down. Um, I got this uh, bluegill pattern chatterbaits, the uh, original chatterbait, Z-Man, and I'm gonna pair it with some uh, four inch exo swim from Biospawn. I love these things. Uh, if you've seen the last video when I got them in the mystery tackle box, you'll know they quickly become my favorite trailer, especially for a chatterbait. I mean, just, just, just look at it. Look at it. So, uh, I can't say that it was a bust because I did catch a fish, but it wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. Um, I just left. Uh, I'm gonna go to the spot where I recorded my last couple videos. I'll probably get rained on again, but that's okay. Uh, the sky's pretty, pretty dark, but it might be good for uh, some frog fishing. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna try to get at least a couple more fish before I end the video. If it carries on too, too long, I'll just make it uh, like a two-part video. I'll post one today and or one tomorrow and one the next day or something. I don't know, but I'm on my way up there. I'll see you when I get there. Here comes the rain. Well, I was on my way to the next spot. Um, I might hang around and see if it quits. I don't, I don't know. I mean, no, no. Okay. I caught a small break in the rain. I just now made it to where I fished with dad by those drains in my last video or the one before that. So I'm gonna take the Cinco down there and just see if I can hook into some. I'll probably take the chatterbait too. Probably gonna stick with the same baits that I was using at the other place. Yeah. So how this is probably gonna go is I have 30% on this battery which is not too, too long. I'll probably spend the rest of that time on this spot. And then when this battery dies, I'll put in the fresh one and go up to the other side where I can frog fish. That's if the rain doesn't come back tenfold like it did just a second ago. Luckily, every time it rains, it seems to uh, stop pretty quick. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna keep this rolling because I might see a bass as soon as I get down here, just like I did last time. So I'm gonna get this ready to go. Whoa, big old fish just jumped over there. Let's, uh, let's go check that out. I can't really see Looks like the water is, uh, the water's a little bit more stained than it usually is. I guess from all that rain just now. This could be good for us. Well, I've seen two show some activity in the 
30 seconds that I've been down here and both of them were right on the side of the bank. So that fall transition is what I'm talking about. They're moving more up into the shallows. Is that a fish? Yep. There we go. So clearly, this was the right call. Awesome. Not a big one, but we've been here for literally 45 seconds. See, dude. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Okay, so I just made it over here to this other side. Got a full battery, which unfortunately, these batteries don't last too, too long anyway. There's gotta be some in here that want the chatterbait. Gots to. I don't know why something's telling me to leave the chatterbait on, so I'm probably gonna be uh, using it quite a bit today. I see a lot of good uh, spots right here, like grass patches and stuff, but I don't wanna waste the battery. I'm gonna go straight over here to all this cover and these lay downs. I just missed that. No, that was a good fish. No. I thought I thought I was hung. <laughs> I knew something was telling me to leave this on. I'm, you guys probably didn't even see that because I was facing this way. That was at least a three pounder. Dang it, man. I cannot lose this chatterbait. There we go. Man, that really sucks. That was a good fish. The one good fish that I had a chance to catch so far. And I ruined it. breaking my heart because not only would that have been my biggest fish of the day it would have been my biggest fish out of here yeah. they're on the chatter though that's a good really good sign Big fish. Really big fish. Yeah. This is why I use the chatterbait. Yes. Look at this thing. He destroyed that chatterbait. Whew. <sighs> yes, that's freaking awesome. Let's gain some water. So something told me to use the chatterbait and keep using the chatterbait. That's what I did. Off. It's about a, I would say a three and a half 
I don't really uh, want to set and dig for my scales, so. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a release on him and take a picture for Instagram. Then I'm gonna get back at it. And let this beauty go. Look at that fish. Oh. There's really pretty fish in this place. Oh, she's ready to go. She's biting me. There she goes. Oh, that's awesome. So, I've made the call. I'm putting everything else back in the car and I'm gonna keep using that chatter. Cause like I said, fall transition, those moving baits, can't really go wrong. I missed one that was close to that size, jumped out of the water, and then uh, a couple casts later, hooked into that big old thing. So I'm definitely gonna stick with that because I don't have much battery left anyway. So I'm just gonna, it's gonna take more time if I just keep switching out. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll see you guys when I get back out there, wherever I'm going. Oh God, it feels so good. Okay, so over there on the other side, it's a little bit too uh, tricky to get back there, especially right now where I don't have much battery. I don't wanna waste my time getting back there if I can only be there for a couple minutes. So I made my way back over to this side, headed towards the car. I'm not done yet, but I'm probably not gonna be fishing too much longer because I don't have battery. Oh. Another good fish. Got a bunny man, he's got a lot of grass. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Heck yeah. Well. Look at that. Look at this, you ready? Wasn't even hooked, that was all pressure. He's still got a lot of fight in him because he didn't get a fight. That grass kind of just held him there. Oh man. It's turned out to be a really good day. All right, there you go guys. Second. Decent fish on the chatter bait. I'm gonna follow in trying to get a good view of the release. I know I'm gonna. Well, that was fun. That's gonna be good slow-mo. <sighs> yes. I threw that right over there on the corner. There's a little mat of grass. I don't know if you can see where it's not super bright out here, but there's a little mat of grass like right around the corner right here. Comes out about three and a half to four foot off the bank. And I hit right on that line and let it fall. I didn't even start reeling. He already, he already hammered it. Oh, it's a good day, good day. Well, I'm gonna have to call it a day. Not because I want to, but for one, my battery died, but I got snagged and it broke off when I tried to pull it. That's the only uh, bluegill chatterbait I have. I have a green pumpkin that would probably work, but as soon as it snapped off, I said, nope, it broke, and then my battery died. So. Either way, I have to call it a day, but that goes to show you that during this fall transition, you can still catch good fish. Um, just try, try moving baits, you know, try your lipless crankbaits and your chatterbaits and your spinnerbaits and your crankbaits, try all those. 
try those and I guarantee you, you'll catch fish. Um, and if you're in a lake with shad, use, uh, you know, shad patterns, especially with your lipless cranks and your crankbaits. Use like the sexy shad or, you know, the chrome and black or chrome and blue. But anyway, it's gonna have to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making it, super fun. Um, if you did enjoy it, hit the like button, comment, and uh, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe because I need more subscribers. I got like 156, I need more. I need you guys, I need you guys to share, share my channel, Let, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your grandma, tell them all. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, Pray for me that my car makes it back over the mountain. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya. <laughs> Look at this beast.